to lash me on my back. He said, okay, you can get the lash and hit me on my back. He said, no, Ya Rasulullah, but when I, I did not have my back covered when you hit me. So you have to move your shirt. When, as soon as the Holy Prophet moved the shirt, the, uh, the person came running and he kissed the Holy Prophet on the back. He said, Ya Rasulullah, I lied just to kiss the Muhr and Nabuwat on your back. Because the Muhr and Nabuwat was uh, on the back. Some say on the shoulder, right inside shoulder, and some say right just below his neck on the, on the back of the Muhr. That was, it was known to be. Many say it said what it said. Nevertheless, he had 17 or 19 white hair in his beard. And, and the Holy Prophet, uh, amongst all the people, would look different. His face would glow in such a way that people could tell that this must be the Holy Prophet. He would always dress like a common person, not like a special person, not like a king. A very common dress. And he would sit on the floor, uh, just like ordinary people, and sit on the floor and eat food. And when people ask him, Ya Rasulullah, why do you sit on the floor? He said, because and I, abdu, I am a servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And a servant should sit on the floor and eat. And, and, and the Imams have said that sitting on the floor takes away pride. It is a cure for takabur. You should sit on the floor and eat. This is uh, just... A small glimpse from the life of the Holy Prophet. The Bible itself mentions the Holy Prophet as paracolitis or um, paracolitis. Uh, para, um, you know, in English the, they don't say far, it is with the paracolitis uh, in, in one of the chapters of the Bible. And they have mentioned in the Imam Imam Raza, he had been asked by the people what are the qualities. He says there are three mountains mentioned in in uh, in bible that these are the three prophets that will come from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from sahih that is jesus from tur sayna that is musa uh, and um, and the last is jabal faran or paran in, in, in the english translation i've seen they say paran the mount paran <laughs> jabal faran is the mountain on which ghara hira is placed which is in mecca and that's where the holy prophet was given the first wahi the first revelation so these are the proofs of the Holy Prophet in other books. They have taken out most of the things about the Holy Prophet from the, you know, in Torah and, and, and Bible, but still there are many, many things about the Holy Prophet in Torah and in Bible. The other common thing between all the Muslims is, is the existence of Kaaba. The Kaaba itself was, was first made by Hazrat Adam and it was made properly in, in this shape by Hazrat Ibrahim and Hazrat Ismail uh, and many times it was renewed. The grave of the Ismail, of the Hajra, and 18 other prophets are inside Kaaba and in that semi circle, which is known to be Hajra Ismail. In that circle, there are the graves of the, the 18 prophets or the 19 prophets, probably 18 prophets and Hazrat Hajra. They are in that area. So, all the ones who say doing tawaf to the graves is, is a bidah than haram. In Kaaba, you always do the tawaf. Uh, of, of those graves together. It is according to all Shia and Sunnis because it's Hajj, I'll just mention it tomorrow, uh, it'll be Hajj in Makkah. It is wajib according to all the Shia and Sunnis that they have to do the Tawaf um, from outside the semi circle, you know, the Hajj Ismail. Yes, they can't go from inside, they have to go from outside. So the graves should be included in it. That is unanimously accepted. Now, Again, Hajj is a, is, a, is a common practice and there is only one, in a, in a, once in a lifetime, Hajj becomes wajib when it's a ta'ah. The Quran says when you have the means for Hajj. Again, unanimous, unanimously accepted by all Shias and Sunnis. Um, there are 13 wajibat of Hajj, according to Sunni brothers, 11 wajibat and all the wajibat are the same. Ahram, uh, the Wukuf and Arafat, Wukuf and Muzdalifa, the Rami, the, the, the sacrifice, the shaving of the head or the cutting of the hair for the women, um, the Rami Jamarat and, and staying the nights in Mina, again the Tawaf, uh, the two Rabbit Namaz of Tawaf, Sa'i, these are all the obligations which are common. Um, I want to be mentioning some of the things that, that, that people make up about, uh, um, about uh, the Shias that where do they do Hajj, um, um, but you probably obviously, these are old um, now, probably people don't believe in these things, inshallah. Uh, you know, 
that they, they don't do Hajj and the Shias only go to Iran or Iraq and that's where the Hajj is. Uh, but now with a few million people attending, you know, uh, you get a few hundred thousand Shias attending Hajj every year, so then obviously now they can't say that. Uh, but in olden days they would say, oh, the Shias don't do Hajj and that's why they're laughing. You know, to try and use an excuse. Uh, and they go to Iran or Iraq and, and the Hajj is done there. They, they just go to Iran or Iraq. Uh, anyhow, I don't want to go into many of the other differences, but inshallah, next week we'll be discussing the furu'at, the practices, namaz, roza, and some of the other uh, zakat and some of the other obligations, what are common. Uh, but today, just some of the other things in belief about the hereafter. I didn't keep track of time. We started late, so. So, uh, another probably 20 minutes? 10? 20 minutes. Um, Qiyamat, the Day of Judgment. We all believe that the, the Day of Judgment will all be resurrected. We all have Barzakh. Barzakh is a belief of the Muslims. Uh, purgatory, also the Christians believe in it, only the Jews reject it. They say that your, your spirit wanders around. All the, the Muslims and the, and the Christians also even believe in it. Uh, the Holy Prophet has said, your grave can become a garden from the gardens of paradise and it can become a hole from the holes of the hellfire. The grave itself. Um, obviously, I don't want to be going into a description of, of Barzakh and the, the Su'al of Munkir and Nakheel, all the Muslims believe in. They will come and question you, the Munkir and Nakheel in the grave. There are many, many hadiths on it. On the Day of Judgment, in Madana Mashar, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will hold everyone accountable and then you will either go to the paradise or the hellfire. So that's where everything is decided the hellfire or the, the, the paradise, common belief. The Shias, here believe that the, the ma'ad will be dismani, it will be a, a physical, a bodily resurrection. It will not be just the soul or the spirit going to heaven or hell. It will be a physical resurrection. Um, so they emphasize a lot on it. Uh, our Sunni brothers also believe in it, but there may be minor differences. So the unanimous thing is, yes there is Qiyamah, yes there is Jannah, and yes there is Jahannam. You know, the hellfire and, and paradise. So we all believe in it. Minor differences of the opinion, how and why. Will you go to heaven or, or hell, which you do not wish to go into? Now, one of the other things, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sifat and attributes. All the Muslims believe in the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then Tawheed is unanimously accepted. Sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, sifat hu ayyudati, all of the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are uh, a part of his essence, a part of his that. As for the descriptions of the Holy Prophet, we believe all the Prophets are infallible. This is, these are the common beliefs. So mm -hmm. from Adam to the Holy Prophet, there is one hadith that says 124,000 Prophets. There is one hadith by Hazrat Abu Dhar al-Bakhari, where he is asking the Holy Prophet, Ya Azul Kamil Anbiya, how many uh, Nabi Anbiya were there? Nabi, the plural is Anbiya. He said 124,000. Kamil Mursalun, and how many of those are messengers? Rasul. He said 313. So 313 are Mursaleen. And five are Ulul the ones who were given books. So these are the, the general common beliefs. And they believe all the prophets are infallible. They do not make mistakes in delivering any message and they do not commit sins in their, in their life. There may be again disputes on, on, on minor issues where the Holy Prophet, uh, according to some Muslim sects, may have made mistakes or uh, we always do ta'weel of any of the verses that talk about, we interpret those verses differently, anything that says that he, this is what the Holy Prophet was said by Allah for example, he found you dhal. You cannot take the literal meaning here. We will not take the literal meaning. Otherwise there are many verses in the Holy Quran, if you just take them literally, they may have um, consequences against infallibility of the Holy Prophet. So we will not accept them as either they are about the Holy Prophet or they will be a ta'weel, they will be an interpretation of those verses about the Holy Prophet. Uh, what does Val here mean? Uh, not necessarily that he, he was astray and Allah guided him. Wallah, in Surah Duha, for example. That he found you astray and he guided you. No, we say that he was uh, never astray and the guidance here means something else. Probably he was not known to the people and his name was guided to become uh, to become famous. Anyway, 